This is it. This is the Bowls Club. My empire. And meet Colin, he's our newest member, ain't you? Been here for a couple of weeks he's again. Picked on first week, weren't you? A little bit. But um, yeah, you're settling in well, all right? Yeah, a couple of the older members have been nasty, but we stamped that out. All right, gents, you good? I've been working here since last month. There's a job going here, and the vicar made me apply for it. And at first, I was like, fuck this, because it's full of old stinkers. But actually, they're all right once you get to know them. As long as you don't mention foreigners or self-service checkouts. Because they really don't like either of those things. And they will make sure they let you know about that. All right, girls, you behaving yourselves? Yeah. Yeah, and the empties? Well, hands off, Wendy. Don't think half of you happy if you saw that. Talk of a devil. Usually, Arthur. Yeah. I'm enjoying it, actually. Uh, I, d I really didn't think I would, but yeah, it's going really well. So, don't tell my dad I showed you this, yeah? But this is what I've been storing here. Well, about a week ago, right, my dad sat me down and he said, Care, how do you fancy going into business with your old man? Like, renting a lockup out and letting me store my wares in it. And I just, like, I thought I was going to cry. But it wasn't because I was sad. It was because my whole life I've been telling people, one day me and my dad will go into business together. And people were like, Kerry, it's never going to happen. You know, get your head out of the clouds. This is getting absolutely heartbreaking now. But I just knew in my heart, and I never let go of that. So my dad's got a mate called Spud, who works in a Dyson factory, and all of these were going to get thrown out. But there's absolutely nothing wrong with them, see? They're all tip top. So my dad basically takes them off his hands for a small fee, and then I store them here, and then he sells them on for a higher fee. So just, you know, everyone's laughing. Such a small idea for a business. Oh, you see this guy here? Right. He had an action man surgically removed from his ass, no word of a lie. And he told the doctor, oh, as I was coming out of the bath, I slipped on the bath mat and I fell on it. And the doctor said, oh, that's funny because why is there a condom on it then? And he just went like this. I mean, what can you say? Odd. Pretty tight this game now. This is Vickers' go, so. Come on, Vix. This is it, son, you can do it. <sighs> he's fucked it. Unlucky, Vix. Yeah, he's, he's absolutely fucked it there. Yeah. <sighs> he's fucked it for the entire team. They won't come back from that now. So disappointing. If I had it my way, I'd just haul him off. Haul him off, wouldn't even talk to him. I am absolutely thrilled. He's doing so brilliantly well. He's, he's a different lad. He's responsible. He's in control. I think he's found his calling Bit, and uh, everyone. Sorry, mate. You still got your bowl shoes on in the bar area. Oh, oh goodness me. I'm away with the fairies. Sorry. It's a bit annoying, actually, because it's not the first or second time I've had to tell you, really, is it? No, no sorry, yeah. Curtin. It's all right, as you were. So, as you can see, I mean, he's very... Really... Because, you know, people look up to you and if they see you doing it, they're going to they're gonna think it's all right for them to do it. And that's, you know, that's when it gets absolutely bloody bananas in here. Yeah, right. understood. As you were. 